Basically what that does is passes an electrical current down through that wand here and sort of stuns the fish. But in stunning the fish it makes the fish swim towards you. So we put the current through the water and around a metre or so around the end of the wand there will just basically artificially tell the fish to swim towards it and we'll hopefully scoop them up. And that works really, really well and nice sort of natural and intact waterways. Um, but here today, because it's quite conductive, um, I measured it with the metre there and it's around 440, which means that the current passes around um, the one and not so much of a straight line, so it makes it harder for shade to catch the fish. So usually, usually I'll stand downstream when it's a flowing, um, flowing stream and the first the, the machine operator will be upstream and so he'll shock a piece of water and then the fish will float down and I'll catch it in my net and then we can take it up to the bank and identify it. But um, obviously in this situation the water's so um, slow moving that really we just are going to um, try and catch the fish whatever way we can. Oh, there you go. Big one. Oh, I saw that. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. See, 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 uh, see how the top fin and the bottom fin are quite close together? Yeah. If it was a long fin, the top dorsal fin would come along oh. and catch all the fish. Oh. Yeah, the, 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 the other technique, which is a bit of for the fish, obviously, involves spotlighting. And that means coming back at night with a spotlight. And it's much, much better for the fish because, you know, they're not getting electrocuted. Um, and you just basically walk along the, the stream edge with your spotlight and looking looking for fish.